Who oh, say can you So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gay. Thank you, Shannon Galat from Muskegon. Go USA. And uh, Mercy Health has been the leader in providing sports medicine services in our area for over 30 years and is a proud partner with ProMed Ambulance and the Muskegon Fire Department to provide medical services to Mercy Health Seaway Run. Mercy Health, ProMed, and the MFD have medical staff on the course and in their tent at the finish line to provide care for today's participants. And now it's my privilege to introduce Greg Loomis, the CEO of Mercy Health, and he's going to get us started. So you guys come on up to the, to the starting line and let's get rocking. All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Mercy Health Seaway Run. Mercy Health is proud to be the lead sponsor for this event. It's an event with a rich history. In its current form, it's been going on uh, straight for 33 years, but the Seaway Run actually has its start 50 years ago as part of the Seaway Festival. So this is a, uh, an event with a long, rich tradition. For those of you who have been running this event for years, welcome back. If this is your first time, thank you for being here. We hope this is the start of a great tradition for you. So on behalf of Mercy Health, again, thank you for being here this morning, and have a great run. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ten, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Enjoy your run.
Family owned since 1908, Muskegon's Meat Block provides quality USDA choice aged meats and seafoods. Or holiday variety packs, boneless chicken breasts, sizzlers, top sirloin, New York strip, T-bone, or Delmonico ribeye steaks. McDonald's Candies, 1064 South Getty Street in Muskegon, features an assortment of chocolate covered nuts and creams, peanut clusters, fudge, seafoam, turtles, cherry cordials, and regular and holiday novelties. Benson's Drug Company, the home of Benson's Bottom Paint. Offering an expanded grocery selection, Medicare billing, and diabetes management and education. Benson's now features a Kodak machine, which allows customers to edit, copy, and develop their own photos. I've had dozens of people tell me, just cremate me when I die and then throw a big party. I'm sure you've heard someone say that too. I completely get it. Well, I want to help you throw that party. I've got tables and chairs and easels and boards, I've got sound systems and music, I've got caterers and food, and I've got all the people to set it up and break it down when it's all over. So why don't you let us here at Clocks help you with that party so you can focus on what's important, sharing the stories. Beginning as a lumber company in 1911, Frederick's Construction has been servicing the Muskegon area since 1969. Family owned and operated, they specialize in roofing, siding, windows, insulation, additions, doors, decks, and more. Located at 1940 Commerce Street in beautiful downtown Muskegon, their phone number is 231-722-3937. When you want quality worksmanship, you want Frederick's Construction. Michigan, you are watching Alive and Well, and we are in downtown Muskegon at the 33rd annual Mercy Health Seaway Run. A lot of energy here today, a lot of runners, a lot of walkers. There's a 15K half marathon, there's a 5K, there's walkers, lots of activity down here. We've already had the finishers coming in. Um, tons of fun, great sponsors, great event, beautiful sunny day. So thanks for watching Alive and Well. This gentleman is running so fast he lost his shirt. It's Corey C.J. Burke from Muskegon, followed by Michael Hyatt, also of Muskegon, Jeannie Dykeman from Muskegon. Way to go, Jeannie. Competitors, this is Matt Jones from Muskegon and Brant McCollum, also from Muskegon. And here comes Heather Price from Holland. Way to go, Heather. Heather's a spry 19 years old. This is Keith Kaharovich from Muskegon, also 19. The Youth of America, Austin Elliott from Spring Lake. And Bobby Chapman, also from Spring Lake. Way to go, Bobby. Joseph Gilbert. Marissa DePease and Sean Halverson, David Waterstead, Michael Gale Budo. Welcome back, everybody. Pushing through the end, this is Samuel Carell and Jackie Seward. Seward. Way to go, Jackie. Jackie's 16, Sam is 15. This is Brian Wieringo. And, oh. The, and Ryan, here comes Ryan Wasilewski, J.B. Muenberg, Robert Henschel, Jordan Lathrop, Tanner Parrott, Eric Rice, Megan Quinn, Chad Colby, Ronnie McKenson, Elena Ackley. Here with me now at the Mercy Health Seaway Run is John and Jen Bailey. Oh, Jen Bailey, of course I didn't recognize you, Jen. And tell me about this event today and what you're doing here. It's an awesome community event that Mercy Health is proud to be a partner with. And we are here making the event as safe as possible and take care of any runners who may have needs afterwards. Okay, and Jen, did you have any injuries so far today? 
We've had a few minor injuries and a few people that just needed water breaks and time to rest, and we were happy to help them. That's great. No, nothing serious, no serious injuries. It was a fun event, and it's still going on. It goes on. When does this actually get done today, do you know? When the last runner and walker comes in. <laughs> and, exactly. and we have some of them that have been out there for over an hour. Yes. Doing... yes. The half that... and the 15 will be out there for a while. Okay, John, tell me a little bit about your position at Mercy with the sports medicine. I'm the manager of sports medicine, so this kind of comes under our realm of responsibilities. Okay, well. Thank you very much. That wasn't so tough. <laughs> and with me now is a family of runners. Let's get everyone's name. Kyle K. Isabel Johnson. Tom K. Danielle K. Reese Oster. Okay, so the whole family ran together. Tell me about your experience today. It was hot. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, no, it actually was nice to have the family come out together and do something. We all, some of us ran together, the rest of us uh, ran faster. Some of the younger ones ran faster. The younger ones ran faster? Yes. Did you do a lot of training and was it competitive among the family? It wasn't supposed to until Reese got involved. And uh, no, it wasn't supposed to until Reese got involved. It was supposed to be a family thing, so then I had to try. I had to at least start running last month. Okay, so so you made this more of a competition? A little bit, a little bit. Do you have a little competitive edge to you? Uh, from time to time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's okay, it adds some interest, it makes it fun. What a great, and are you all from Muskegon? We are, yeah. Everyone's from Muskegon, wonderful. And have you done this run before? Yeah, I did it, my daughter and I did it about five years ago. Okay. And I was a lot quicker when I was a lot younger. So. <laughs> we all were quicker when we were younger. But the thing is, you're still moving, and that's what counts. And we we uh, decided as a family to do it. So yeah. do it. it's a family thing. That's great. So okay. a family runs together, stays together, right? Yeah, I like <laughs> that. Family that runs together, stays together. So get your family out here next year for the 34th Mercy Health Seaway Run. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. And your name is? My name is Katie Lawrence. And Katie, what did you run today? I ran the 5K with my dad. With your dad. How nice. Yes. And have you done this run before? I have done this since I was super little, yes. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the 33rd run, and I don't think you've been running 33. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> no. But you're you're going to hit that mark. You're, you're, you'll do it next year. Right? I do. I hope so. <laughs> okay. So do you know yet what your time was? I think we were 31.25, so just over 30. That's good, though. That's OK. okay. And to bring 30, so we'll work on it. <laughs> work on that. And you stayed with your dad? Just, do you I did, yep. slower to be with him? Just so you know what, we started out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. so there's Not no competition. Much You're just right. about doing it together and exactly. having fun. Yes. Being healthy. Absolutely. And how much training do you do? Ooh, you know what? I have a triathlon at the end of July, so oh, I've been doing some pretty good training. I yeah, the yeah. Triathlon event. I tell you what, my dad's been working hard, so. Okay, and where is the triathlon? <laughs> it is right outside of, outside of Grand Rapids, so. Okay, so you go all over. Well, thank you so much for the interview, and I'm glad you had fun here today. <laughs> thank you. Buckley Schultz and Associates Incorporated. Investment products and services. For more information, call 799-9889 or 866-799-9889. Celebrate the grand opening of the new Muskegon Farmer's Market, now located at 242 West Western Avenue in beautiful downtown Muskegon. With over 100 vendors, the market offers fresh fruits and vegetables, flowers, pet supplies, honey, maple syrup, fresh caught fish, and much, much more. Their brand new building includes a year-round indoor market as well as an incubator and community service kitchen. This year, the Muskegon Farmers Market will introduce two new programs. The Power of Produce, teaching children ages 5 to 12 how to shop at the Farmers Market and prepare nutritious meals, along with Arts on the Market, featuring fine arts and crafts. You can enjoy live music performed on their outdoor stage as well. For more information, visit muskeganfarmersmarket.com. Muskegon's Hackley Public Library is an excellent source for help, information, and great entertainment on virtually any topic. The friendly, knowledgeable staff is always available to help you with finding information on any topic you need. They can help you with using the free public access computers and they look forward to showing you books, audio CDs, DVDs, and much more. Whether you live in the city or outside, the Hackley Public Library in downtown Muskegon is there to help with everything imaginable. Hello 
West Michigan, welcome back to Alive and Well. We are here at the 33rd annual Seaway, Mercy Health Seaway Run. And with me is this large group from Reed's Puffer. And yeah, woo, Reed's Puffer, yeah! Bunch of happy runners here. And Amy Nicklash, tell me about this event and how you're involved. A group of uh, people from the wellness committee decided that we wanted to change our status of 82 out of 82. So we decided that we were going to make this a school-wide uh, project. We sent home training logs and uh, we did a free t-shirt order. Um, we received a grant. We used those monies to help pay for that. And we are getting our community moving. We're fighting back. We're no longer going to be 82 out of 82. No, we're going to be 1 in 21, right? 1 in 21. Okay, tell me who are some of these great people that ran today. Your name? JT Fansler. JT? Liam Smith. Liam Smith. Who else? Samantha Melcho. Carmen Beckman. Julia Beck. Hey, Julia. And, and what is your name? Matthew Beckman. And how did you like running today, Matthew? Fun. Fun? Was it a lot of fun? Did you practice a lot ahead of time? Uh, not really, but I do play soccer. You play soccer. That's pretty. That's being active. You run all the time. And who do we have here? Gary Nicklash. I thought you looked like the other half of this team. <laughs> Amy, what is it you do at Reese Puffer? Um, I teach sixth grade uh, science and social studies, and I also need to say that I, I have a wellness committee we have a wellness committee and this could not have happened without the, everybody working together staff students the wellness committee it was a combination of all of us working together to change our statistic yeah, it, it does it takes a village and tell me what is the stinky shoe award stinky shoe award is for uh, the school that earns the or that has the most students participating and we won again stinky shoe award Grace Buffer woo all right well you know I'm a Reese Puffer grad. It's been a few years back, but I'm still proud of Reese Puffer. Okay, good job. Good job, everybody, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here I am with Joe Doyle and Chris Berna, and tell me all about what you've done at this event, which is everything. Which is everything. We have a year-round planning process, and we have a steering committee and a race committee. This is a big project, and it's only a three- or four-hour event, but it takes 365 days to plan it. So. Yes. And Chris, tell me, you're co-chair of this whole big event. Tell me about numbers this year. Numbers were awesome this year. We had a total of 3,450 participants. So we have doubled the race in the last three years, more than doubled the race. So it's, it's very good. Our half marathon was up this year. Uh, we had 391 runners, up from 255 in our first year last year. So that's great. And we had a lot of walkers and 5K and 15K too. Awesome. Gosh, great. You're great weather for it. Joe, tell me about all the prep work and when do you start working on this? Well, we really do start working. I'm, I'm already doing a map for next year. Okay. And seriously, we do. We learn as we go. We try to make improvements. Uh, later today, there will be a survey going out to all of our participants and we get their feedback. We go through that and really look at their comments and make improvements based on that. Okay, and what, what kind of a team, how many people do you have, volunteer, all volunteers, correct? Right, this is a total volunteer operation. Probably by the end of the day, there will be over 200 volunteers on the course and, and in this area, and we really do appreciate their help and couldn't do it without them. Okay. Well, wonderful. I'm so glad to see all that you do for Muskegon. And I know, Joe, you're involved in a lot of other events. You've always been out there working behind the scenes. And you too, Chris, we so appreciate the efforts and everything you do to keep Muskegon healthy and get Muskegon healthier. That's the whole idea. Yeah. And with me now is the Mercy Health people. Well, some of them. I think there were like 800 registered. Uh, so we have Carrie. You think, Carrie, tell me how many people this year. Do you know? Uh, I know there's over 800 walkers. Walker, just walkers? Just walkers from Mercy Health. Oh, my That's what goodness. I've heard, yes. Okay, wonderful. We don't know about how many runners, huh? No, I don't remember all the numbers. I know there's over 3,000 that for overall. Overall, okay. And Eva. Hey! hey tell tell <laughs> it me was, about your experience. It was a great walk. This year we walked through the neighborhood and we had uh, a lot of support through the neighborhood. A lot of people came out, gave us water. Uh, had their sprinklers out. We had, I think, I think maybe it was Muskegon High School football players, maybe, cheering us on. Yeah, so that was awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, you want to get cheered on as you go. It gives you incentive, keeps you going. And walking is every bit as important as running. So, the, uh, 
bring out those walkers next year. If you don't feel like you're up for running, nice fast paced walk or even if you're a slow walker just come out and move that's what it's about let's see who all we have with us here representing mercy health your name aurelia aurelia and uh, jesus Pena. okay matthew bill curtis scott and who do we have down here aaron curtis yeah. becky curtis summer curtis all right you're all stars now <laughs> give, give a big cheer for mercy health yay Woo! Woo! thank you Okay, Aaron, I understand you're getting a medal? Yep. Yes, okay, how fast? Do you know what your time was? In your walk? Um, 26 minutes and 30 something seconds. And what kind of a medal are you getting? I done um, third place. A third place medal, and how old are you? 10. 10, well good for you. Let's give it up for Aaron, everybody, yay! yay! With me now is Ross Park Runs, and these wonderful kids and their parents, a lot of people came out, and you ran today, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. okay, let's get some names here. Let's start down here. Desiree, Sadie, Ethan, Dylan, Hunter, Cayenne, Caden. Who's up here? I'm Kathy Hellman. Kathy? I'm Nick Bronsma, and I'm in first grade. <laughs> I am too. Tina Burns. Seth Burns. Seth Burns. Okay, and tell me, who can tell me how did this Ross Park Runs get together? Who got it together? Mr. Um, Mr. B, Mr. O'Brien, and Ms. Hackney. And are they teachers? Yes. Computer teachers. Computer teachers. Principal. Principal. And this is Mr. B. Mr. B, the first grade teacher. Okay, let me come back here. And how did you guys have fun running? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, how did you do? Did you practice and train? Yeah, yeah running club. Run yeah. Oh, you're in a running club. That's yeah. awesome. And look how healthy you all look and feel. Let me ask Mr. Burns back here. All right. <laughs> He's in first grade. Lucky, lucky kids. I bet the kids you guys love having him for a teacher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Did you? So did you organize this event? Actually, it was um, Mr. O'Brien, our principal, who formerly he was at Whitehall, which I still see Whitehall is well represented with uh, Whitehall runs, and um, you know he came up with the idea. I actually emailed him about hopefully joining something like this, and Tracy Hackney as well, and then from there. Um, we had great teachers like uh, Mrs. Hellman and great parents like the Burns family uh, join us. Okay, wonderful. How many people did you have sign up this year? Um, at one point, it was 83. Oh, 83. Okay. So, and that's just the children. Just the children. So, just the yep. And we okay. did. We actually did a fun run for some of the kids that were younger, so that they didn't have to go through the three-mile course. Here, we did it. Um, you know, kind of a course that we made up at Ross Park. Okay, so, the yep. Kids. Yep. Great. So yep. let's give it up. Everybody do a big cheer. Ready? For Ross Park Runs. One, two, three. Ross, Ross Park, Park Runs! Yay! <laughs>The Fresh and Tasty Deli, located inside the Henry Street Health Hut, offers a variety of options for every diet. Organic, raw, vegan, vegetarian, gluten, or grain-free. You can sample specialty sandwiches, or you can build your own wrapper salad by choosing from a wide selection of fresh meats, cheeses, veggies, and dressings. From gourmet soups to smoothies, shakes, juices, herbal teas and coffee, to mouth-watering desserts, the Fresh and Tasty Deli is here to serve you. In the 150 years we've been in business, many things have changed. Our greatest achievements are rooted in the things that haven't. Years ago, the person you called banker was also the person you called friend. When it came to service, there were fewer layers and friendlier smiles. And banks earned the trust of their customers and community while working tirelessly not to lose it. At Independent Bank, all this remains true today. Sure, we've made advances that help customers bank more conveniently and more comfortably. But at the end of the day, we know that people really need a trustworthy partner committed to their financial goals, dreams, and aspirations. And we've been happy to be that partner since 1864.
today, at this time, we have a special group with us. My Team Triumph is here, and their spokesman, Derek, is going to hand out awards for that group. All right, thank you everybody for that warm welcome. Yeah, we've got three captains racing with us today. I'm going to call them up individually. We're going to present them with their award. Uh, my team, Triumph, the Lakeshore chapter is fairly new. We're not even a year old yet. And we are constantly looking for more captains and more angels. Uh, we do have a website. You can also find us on Facebook. So if you're interested in being involved and racing for a, a different, different purpose, please look us up. We'd love to have you involved with us. All right, Brendan, if you could come up and get your award, please. Next up is Travis. Girls, could you push Travis up, please? And Travis, this was, uh, she said this, this was Brendan's first race with our group. Uh, Travis, this is his second race. He did the 5K last fall at the Oktoberfest. And our next captain just came off of the Riverbank 25K with the My Team Triumph Grand Rapids chapter. And what's really special today, too, is that Mackenzie, her angel, the one uh, running with her and her godmother, um, joined them today out on the course, which is awesome when you see family like that. So, Mackenzie, come on up and get your award. And if I could just have one more round of applause for my Team Triumph captains. They had a great day today, and thank you so much for your support out there. Let me hold it, obviously. All right. Okay, good morning once again. We are now ready for the 5K Awards. This year, we've had 1,667 register for the 5K. And we're going to start with the overall winners. The male overall winner in the 15K with a, excuse me, 5K, with a time of 1603.29, Eric Westbrook. The overall female 5K winner with a time of 1816.53, Jean Dykeman. <laughs> Masters Division male winner with a time of 1713, Ron Zwicky. Female Masters winner with a time of 22.25, Kelly Peterson. Thank you, West Michigan, for watching Alive and Well. This is the 33rd annual Mercy Health Seaway Run. It's been a record turnout, a wonderful event. We've got a beautiful, beautiful West Michigan day. And if you didn't participate this year, sign up for next year. They're already planning for next year, and it's a wonderful event, whether it rains or shines. It's great to be out here and so much fun for the whole family. And we want to get Muskegon healthy. So please, join Mercy Health Seaway Run. And thanks for watching.
With four convenient locations, Jack's Corner Store is one-stop shopping at its best. Tools, fresh meats, produce, chips, snacks, and other grocery items, beer, wine, and liquor, even gas and lottery. That's why Jack's is your corner store and so much more. Traffic is a parking lot, so just go ahead and eat dinner without me, okay? Yeah, love you too. Hello, Jimmy John's? You ordered Jimmy John's? Wow, that was fast. I would have been here sooner, but this traffic stinks. Jimmy John's. Order online at jimmyjohns.com. I'm Linda Balkema, and we are at the Health Hut on Henry Street in Muskegon, and we're here with this week's Health Hint. And with me is Eric Johnson, manager, and we're going to talk about hemp powder. Okay, hemp. Right away, we think about marijuana. So tell me a little bit about the derivative of this powder, its many uses. Yeah, well, actually, it is. You're right. Uh, hemp is actually... The kind of hemp that is used in this is actually industrial hemp, the same kind of hemp. Uh, that they make fabric out of and rope and uh, houses. Houses. houses, yeah, a lot of different things. Yeah, plastics. I think they can make plastics. Uh, I think the Model T, um, like the fabric in the Model T, the first Model T the Ford made, the fabric you know that you sit on because it was real strong, and they didn't want the fabric to wear through. People are sitting there driving every day, getting out of the car. They made that out of hemp, the fabric in the car. Oh, you don't know that it's very strong, and some of those seats are still the springs are shot, but the fabric is still doing good. <laughs> Well, that, this is an industrial uh, hemp. It's not, not the, not the uh, medicinal marijuana plant that, that people think of, you know, with the THC and the cannabinoids and stuff. This is the kind, this, this plant is a tiny bit of uh, active alkaloids that's found in the regular, uh, what they call them. They're, it's all hemp, but it's all the, you know, the same, just, just different, uh, hybridized for different uses. So like, this is a particular one I just grabbed off the shelf. This is a Nativa hemp protein powder and, and how they achieve the uh, protein powder out of hemp is they actually take, you know, the hemp seeds, and they, which are high in, uh, actually high in protein, high in fiber, high in uh, oil, which is um, the, the, the fat that's found in hemp, hemp seeds, is almost like a perfect, it's almost like it was if it was made for humans. It's like the perfect blend of omega-3, 6, 9, and 12, even omega-7. Um, uh, it's just an ideal fat for the human body. This, how, how they create uh, hemp, and when you say hemp powder, a lot of people say hemp powder. Well, hemp powder, what does that mean, powder? Is it the leaves? No, it's actually the seed that has actually been ground up, and then they spin it like in a washing machine, which actually spins out most of the fat. Otherwise, this product would have a lot of fat in it, and some people don't want, they wouldn't want, say, 25 grams of fat in a couple of scoops of uh, uh, you want those omega threes, though? Very important for cholesterol levels. Yeah, but in this case, well, actually, if you want all of those, really, what you should do is just buy hemp seeds, which a lot of people do, and you can put that in your smoothie. Sort of put that in the water first, and put that in room temperature water, add a couple of tablespoons of the hemp seeds. Then you're getting all the protein, you're getting all the fiber, and all the fat, the artificial fats. Then you can add your other smoothie. You can add, uh, you can add extra protein, or you can add, uh, you know, frozen frozen bananas or frozen fruit, or um, some people like to add yogurt, or you know, um, anything you'd normally put. Uh, fro in all the different types of frozen fruit. Yeah, you have an article. We have, we have great recipes right here. Again, Woman's World. This this magazine gives some great tips every. I think it comes out weekly, or I don't know if it's yeah, monthly. It's really it's, I mean, <laughs> even if you don't like one article, there's another one a few pages away that you will like. So know, it's really loaded. Gives, and again, it's a, we always women are always looking at weight loss, and this it gives some shakes and smoothies for weight loss that all contain, I think, four tablespoons or more of hemp powder. I am buying some hemp powder today, and I'm going to try out these shakes. And what makes hemp powder great is it's naturally high in fiber, and that high fiber gives you a feeling of fullness, and it helps keep you regular. It acts like a pre, I know in our previous, uh, we did another show on uh, probiotics. Well, hemp, 
hemp protein powder actually is a prebiotic, which helps probiotic grow. So just to carry over from another show we did. Somebody must be making a hemp shake right yeah. behind us because we can hear it going. So, yeah. So hopefully you can hear us good. Um, and it, it's, it's also not just fiber, but it's also loaded with protein. Like I'll give you an example. Um, three tablespoons of this has 11 grams of protein and 12 grams of di dietary fiber. So that is an enormous, that is almost 50% of your dietary fiber for the day. And a lot of people have trouble getting enough fiber. So sure. that's a great way to do it. Um, it tastes good. Yeah. They've got it ground real fine. So it's nice and smooth and 11 grams of usable protein. And, and the protein that's found in hemp is a very bioavailable type of protein. It's, um, uh, it's uh, some types of vegetarian type proteins can be hard to unlock the amino acids in it, especially for certain people who have challenges to their digestive tract. But this is really easy to unlock the protein in the hemp, hemp powder. I find that interesting because I know people that are vegetarians or vegans that their main source of protein is usually lentils or some kinds of beans. And if you suffer from digestive tract problems, uh, this is probably a better way to digest the protein. Right, exactly. Um, uh, now, if you put, if you put, you say you use about four scoops of protein, you get about f about 15 grams of protein. That's about a third of the protein you need for, you know, for, for the day, which is not a, bit, a pretty good amount, especially all the fiber. Um, not to mention all the phytonutrients that are not listed on here, but they're actually in here. It actually lists the, uh, the amino acid profile in here. Um, so it's a good, not, not everybody will like um, every brand. So is, yeah, is, is there a different taste or flavor to hemp powder? Yeah, it has a, it has a um, somewhat earthy taste. Um, it's kind of a nutty flavor. It's not a bad flavor. If you've never had it, I mean, not everybody likes it, but I would say probably half people that try it really like it. So... Well, if you're mixing it with avocado kiwi or banana strawberry or your multi berry, I'm sure that covers up any of the earthy taste that you might notice. Yeah, exactly. And you're adding lots of benef <coughs> Excuse me. beneficial protein and fiber, not to mention the phytonutrients. And this has some fat. All of them have some fat. This has four grams of beneficial fatty acids in here. Well, but there's, again, good fat and bad fat, and there's fat that we need in our diet that's right. very important to us. No, fat is crucially important. It, it's fat is uh, all but fat is, well, we, we'll do, we should do a show on fat in the future, but <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> of all the that. importance of fat. We can do health hints on fat. Yeah, health hints on fat, yeah, because fat is amazing. And, and if anybody who doesn't like protein powder, you know, in this form, pro, protein uh, seed powder, they can also just go to the whole pro, uh, the hemp seed which almost everybody, because like, that's very, very mild and nutty and high, and it, then you, you're getting all of the beneficial fats from the hemp. So that's something that really, even though we're talking about the hemp protein powder, we should not forget about just using regular hemp seeds because okay. it makes a great tasting smoothie, especially with banana. And imagine uh, the seeds you can put in. I like to put in my oatmeal in the morning. I like to put oh, it in great, yeah. Yeah, some flax seed. You could probably put in some hemp seeds just as well in your oatmeal with exactly. your cranberries. Well, you know, they even make just a snack. You mix them like in a regular snack mix oh, with yeah. a little bit of pinch of salt. They're just a great okay. snack on the go. Okay, it's, that's good to know. Yeah. Good to know. I've got one more question, and I wonder, is this one of the, I hear so much lately about superfoods, like um, chia seeds, for instance, are one of the superfoods. What exactly are superfoods, and is hemp one of them? Yeah, superfoods are just kind of foods that are just incredibly high in nutrients, and there's like basically no downside to them. They're high in phytonutrients. Um, they're, phytonutrients are some of the most, like, if you have a smoothie, all of the nutrients that are in here are not vitamins or minerals. They're important, but they, they really play a small role in your diet. It's the phytonutrients, the phytochemicals that are the most important benefit of the food you eat. And they're actually not listed on any nutritional label. So the nutritional label really is, uh, I mean, it's nice to have it, nice to have that information, but it's really of limited value because it's not telling you all the phytonutrients, you know? Like, you know, banana is high in, uh, you know, um, potassium, but it's also loaded with other about, uh, about five other phytonutrients that are found in a banana that are good for you as well. So the superfoods, can you tell me just a few of the superfoods for yeah, our listeners? What would refer to as superfoods? Like, um, I would definitely say hemp, hemp seeds are a superfood. Hemp protein, uh, uh, hemp uh, seed protein is also a superfood. Um, uh, cocoa powder, I think, is a superfood because of its uh, uh, impact on blood, blood pressure. Uh, it's really loaded with antioxidants. 
It's nature's high, one of nature's highest sources of magnesium for bone building and for nervous system and for sleep and for blood pressure. And chia. I just, I just discovered chia. 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 just for growing chia pets. No, gosh. That is just, that, that's just, uh, that is so funny that people have been spreading chia seeds on a chia pad when they should have been eating it. Actually, those sprouts, they should have been eating those sprouts. You know, you can make, you can make, you can, forget about putting them on, on a chia pad. You should just eat the sprout. I know, and this, apparently other cultures and people have been eating chia seeds and hemp powder and everything for years, and we're just finally learning about yeah, it here. We're native to South America, and I'm sure they're laughing about the fact that we spread them on a, on a, on a ceramic, uh, <laughs> On the ceramic pet. <laughs> yeah, a whole lot of money off of it. Okay, well, we get that's a great health hint for this week's health hints. And Eric, please tell our viewers about your three convenient locations. Well, we have three locations: one here on Henry Street in Muskegon, one on Holton Road in Muskegon, in Russ's Plaza, and one in downtown Grand Haven, on the corner of Seventh and Washington. Okay, there you have it. This week's health hint from the Health Hut. Thank you. The Pizza Ranch, featuring a buffet that is guaranteed to please even the pickiest eaters. From a full soup and salad bar, pizzas and breadsticks, to mouth-watering roasted chicken, potatoes and gravy, vegetables, drinks and desserts, all for just one price. Their menu features a wide variety of delectable favorites. You can dine in, carry out, or have your meals delivered. There's something for everyone at the Pizza Ranch. She's not going to tell you this part. Um, Haley was in the Miss America pageant in um, Atlantic City in September, right? And it was on, some of you may have even seen it, it was on ABC uh, TV. And she won, talking about scholarships, she won the Quality of Life Award, which came with a $6,000 scholarship. So she won $6,000 toward her schooling, and she is the head twirler for the University of Alabama. That is a really big school. She's, she's, she's from Michigan, but she knows where to go to school, where it's nice and warm. <laughs> so Haley, take it away. Oh, you got to flip this on. Let's see. On switch. Good. There we go. Well, thank you so much for being here. Um, this is so wonderful. This is such an awesome program. Um, just a little bit about the Miss America program. Um, Miss Michigan is involved with Miss America. I competed for Miss America, and it is 100% a scholarship program. So any prizes that I've won within my last five years of competing now have all been in monetary scholarships. 
So um, reading is so important because it's really the foundation of the rest of your schooling and the rest of the knowledge that you will retain. Um, I wish that we would have had more programs like this when I was in elementary school because it certainly would have helped those around me who were either struggling with reading or just weren't getting the attention um, that they needed to succeed. So it is so wonderful to see all of you here tonight and I'm so proud of all of you and it was really nice meeting a lot of you and taking pictures. So just have a great night and I hope you like what I have to show you. Thanks. For nearly nine years, West Michigan Driving Academy has been providing Muskegon County with complete, comprehensive driver's education. Students spend time both in the classroom and on the road in a state-approved driver's education vehicle with state-certified instructors. West Michigan Driving Academy is the only school in Muskegon that offers both day and evening classes throughout the summer. Accident-free, with 150 years of combined experience, you will drive safe at West Michigan Driving Academy. Expert Auto Repair, call Ramos & Sons Auto Body, 739-7240. My name is Bruce Langline. I'm a veterinarian, and this is my dog, Pace. With the troubled economy, it can be difficult to afford veterinary services. That's why we have a mobile veterinary clinic called the Spay Neuter Express. We offer low cost spays and neuters for dogs and cats. And we also offer vi vaccinations, routine testing, and parasite control. You can find us online at www.spayneuterexpress.com. It is very, very important to have your pet spayed and neutered. And there's a variety of reasons for doing that. In the big picture, there are millions and millions of healthy, adoptable pets that have to be euthanized every year just in our country because there's no home for them. And adopting is good. It's good to adopt a rescue animal, but that's not gonna solve the problem. To solve the problem of killing too many healthy adoptable pets, we have to spay and neuter. We have to limit reproduction. So in the big picture, it's very important that everybody spay and neuter their pets to reduce the animals that end up at the shelter. Also, for the health of your own personal pet, they stay much healthier if they've been spayed and neutered. 
And the females, if we spay it or if we spay them before their first heat, we reduce the chance of mammary cancer 99.9%. In dogs, mammary cancer 50% of the time is malignant. In cats, 90% of the time it's malignant. So spaying is very important for that reason. Plus, you don't have the mess of them putting in, uh, going into heat. You don't have to worry about them getting loose when they're in heat. Also, middle aged and older females tend to develop a condition called pyometria, where the uterus will fill with infection and the animals can die very suddenly of a toxic shock type syndrome. So again, by spaying, we prevent that problem. And of course, we also prevent cancer in the reproductive organs, the ovaries and the uterus, which we do sometimes see. In male dogs, it's important to neuter them. Again, we reduce the chance of cancer in the testicles, but also a neutered male dog is a lot less likely to get to run. And almost every dog I see hit by a car has been an unneutered male because they're out running, roaming characteristic and looking for females in heat. Plus, they're a lot more likely to get in fights. And you'll be making trips to the veterinarian to patch them up after they've been in a fight with another dog. So the male dogs as well stay healthy. In cats, unneutered male cats will mark their territory. And they'll urinate in the house. And they'll spray on the walls. And they just will not be a good pet in the house. And also male cats will get in fights with other male cats. So again, by neutering them, we eliminate all those problems. So there's many, many reasons why to spay and neuter your pet. And a lot of times cost can be a barrier. So I am involved in many programs for reduced cost spays and neuters. And one of the programs I have is I have a, actually two mobile veterinary clinics that travel throughout the state of Michigan offering the low cost spay and neuters as well as vaccinations, routine testing and parasite control. And we're out every day at various locations throughout the state. We can be found on the internet at www.spayneuterexpress.com or you can call our office 616-897-8865. We've got a wealth of information on our internet site. You can schedule appointments 24-7 on our internet site. You can find when we're going to be at a location near you. Girl Tumble Jump and Dance with the Stars here at Castle Dance and Gymnastics. From 16 months to adults, Castle offers a safe and friendly atmosphere. Located at 1180 Devon Drive, their number is 231-798-8418. Or find them at castlegymdance.com.